This video was brought to you by Chainmetrics.com, your provider of Bitcoin on-chain data. On this website, you can find 200 plus on-chain metrics. For example, the number of addresses with 100 plus Bitcoins. Please find 20% discount promo code and link in the description below. And welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to build your own trading bot in Python. We're going to use backtrader.py library, which will help us to uh, build the bot. That's a quite famous library uh, for the Python uh, to do the backtesting of your trading strategies and also to do live trading. First of all, let's ask uh, uh, Chatbot if she knows um, about uh, Backtrader. Do you know what is Backtrader.py? Yes, and as we can see, she knows about this framework. She knows that it's open source backtesting and trading fr framework for the Python, which is awesome, right? So now let's try to get some trading strategy, right? Could you please create trading strategy in Python uh, by using backtrader.py? to trade Apple stock based on um, five years historical data. Let's see what will be the answer. Sure, here's an example of simple trading strategy implemented in Python using backtrader library to trade Apple stock based on five years historical data. Okay, so we're getting SMA period 20. I think it's quite a uh, very, very simple moving average strategy. But let's see, maybe that's the one we need, right? Maybe that's the, the profitable one. Anyway, so the, 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 the main thing is that we're getting the code and we can, can keep improving it. I see the first improvement which we need to do straight away is to change the Yahoo Finance data source because its uh, data source was depreciated and it's not available right now and probably OpenAI doesn't know about it because it was disconnected from the internet in 2021. But let's see. Um, Yahoo Finance is not available anymore. Do you have other options for historical data source for Apple stock. Let's see. Oh, you see that she knows that Yahoo Finance is no longer available, but she's still providing it, right? Um, okay. So, uh, and she's providing some other options uh, where we can get uh, financial historical data. Uh, which is Alpha, Vantage, Quandle, and IEX, Cloud, Fred. I I know the Quandle. It's quite popular source of uh, the data. So let's let's ask to change the code. Could you please change the data source to Quandle? And uh, and that's it, right? That should be enough for now. Sure, Quandle is a good option for historical. Thank you very much. But why you're not using it uh, from the beginning, right? Why we should ask? <laughs> okay. To use Quandle Backtrader, you will need to install Quandle uh, library. Okay, we can do it later, right? But as of now, that's the code we're getting. Backtrader, data time, import Quandle. Uh, so we need to have uh, API key, but I think we can uh, generate it. I'll show you how to do that. But uh, let's see, right? So it's it's very simple uh, trading strategy. It's just using uh, 20 SMA. And as soon as we're crossing it um, up, then we are buying the stock. And when we are uh, crossing this SMA down, then we are, we are selling the stock. It's a very simple strategy, but that's not the quite big profitability is not our target, uh, the first target for, for today, right? We just want to see uh, how we can uh, build how we can build the strategies okay so as of now i see that we can use that we are getting uh the code okay which is okay now we need to have api key we need api key to get the external historical data from quandle right so quandle should know who we are so we should authorize before grabbing the data from quandle so let's see how we can get that 
So let's go to search for Quandl. And what we see is that Quandl is recently was acquired by Nasdaq and now it's data nasdaq.com. Okay. So which is fine for us, right? As soon as we will provide us the historical data. We, and so let's try. Uh, we need to sign up. Uh, and we just putting our first name. Let's put uh, chat GPT master. Right. And then personal account. Then we putting our GPT master uh, at uh, gmail.com email. Then we put our um, country and why we want to use like we're saying i'm not sure right and yeah let's go next and we are confirming that we are not robot we're confirming privacy policy and create account and let's wait let's see awesome as a result you should get your api key straight away so you are copy it here and you can use it for uh for your uh, strategy later on Okay, now we have everything. Now we need to uh, to run this code. Let's do it. Run our code. We will use Visual Studio Code ID. If you don't have it, just go to the Microsoft website or just press VC Code in your Google browser, and you will get the first link: Visual Studio Code code.visualstudio.com that's what you need you go in here downloading and that's your IDE that's the kind of notepad uh, where you can type your your code and run it uh, run it there I already have it so um, uh, I just created the empty folder and let's create just empty file let's call it main.py you can call it whatever you like just end it with dot uh, .py just to let uh, uh, Visual Studio understand that that's the Py, Py, uh, Python script, and here we are. That's the, our our editor. So let's go to the, our uh, let's get our uh, trading strategy. Copy it. Go in here. Paste it. Then we're going to the our financial uh, data source, which is Nasdaq. We're copying our API key. Going back. In code, we have this Quandl API config API key. We just removing uh, it and posting what we have okay now our code is ready to be run but let me show you how to do it in an easier and nicer way so you see now we can just run the Python script but let me show you how you do it properly you go into the extension uh, and you type in here Python and you're getting a Python extension just press install and just wait a bit and you will get all required things to run your code easily you see now you have this play button in your visual studio which is very easy so you're typing your code and you just press the play button okay let's press the play button what we're we getting we're getting that uh, back trade uh, library is not available right okay so we need to install it but before installing I would create probably the um, uh, virtual environment, which, which is a good way of doing things. You're creating your virtual environment, so whatever Python libraries you're installing, it will be located in one place. You're not installing it for everyone, for all the projects, so you're just deploying it for your own project. Uh, Python 3 VNV, and that's use chat GPT ENV kind of environment. And here we are, we have uh, environments. So so let's see um, to activate the environment we can just press uh, not press but type bin activate so now we have our environment we can see what kind of extensions do we have you can type pipe freeze and you see that you don't have any extensions deployed yet so what we see with we need a uh, uh, back trader so the peep uh, pip install back trader back trader you see um, now we have back trader install um, and they suggesting us to update the pip as well okay let's do that 
uh, did install upgrade okay now everything should be working fine we need to change the interpreter for the python right because we created in virtual environment inside the virtual environment we have our own python but this play button currently executing like the the over like the general python which is installed uh, in the computer so let's just change the path uh, uh, we're just going here uh, and typing like this uh, char character and then we're just changing it to the this um, interpreter to the one which is in, uh, in inside of the virtual environment right and uh, now should be should be fine for from the back trader perspective so back trader is okay now it's saying that quandal is not uh, available pip install quandal now we have quandal installed almost okay done now let's play again and let's see what will be the result strategy working fine but we need to add some visuals right we need some um char and how it's progressing and what's the profitability of the trade let's go and ask uh chat gpt assistant to add this into the python code so please add plotting of the strategy results please also add um, broker position uh, before and after the trade thing strategy run and add initial cash position to thousand USD okay so we should get the updated code now uh, let's see that nothing else changed so we are importing back trader the time quando our strategy api key is still the same we could provide our api key right and then the code will be updated but you can change it by yourself um so we're still using the same uh, one sma 20 period mm -hmm. uh, broker cash set uh, 1000 we are getting data from Quandle and uh, we are, let's see, we should add something. Okay, now we have this extra output, which is, will show the, our starting position. And uh, at the end, we'll show the, the final portfolio position. Okay, now some explanation, which we don't really need. Uh, let's try and copy this updated code. We'll go to Visual Studio will um, uh, delete everything we paused it here now we need to update the, our API key again copy it here going back to Visual Studio copy and paste API key let's see the rest should be okay and uh, let's try to execute let's see now we have some results but we have one more exception smart leap library missed okay doing it again pip install not leap done it should be fine now so let's do uh, the final run and here we are that's our result and surprise surprise we have some profit which is almost 50% profitability. As you remember, we had $1,000 in the beginning and we have $1,574 at the end, which is almost 50% profitability, which is amazing in my perspective. I didn't expect that ChatGPT will manage to do any profitable strategies, but here we have like 50%, which is probably not the best which we expected. It's not $1,000, but still. Now, if you want to use this strategy as our live trading bot, we need to connect it with our own broker account. To do that, we can use the backtrader.py documentation. We can go to the, the website, which is backtrader.com. 
and if we can see uh, we can go to the documentation and here we can find live trading options we can try we can connect it with the interactive broker or or oanda so you can try to change the code by yourself or you can leave in the comment section that you are interested about that and i can make a separate video of how to make a live trading bot based on the trading strategy which was created today uh, but for now i think we've done our task we saw that uh, ChatGPT can generate trading strategy in the Python uh, using the backtrader.py library and showed the uh, profitability, which is amazing. And I think that's it for, for this video. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, hit the like if the video was uh, useful for you. Subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.